Hey, what's up, America? It's the very angry black solar guy again. It's been a while since I came back to you. Man, just trying to wait for some decent weather, man. It's been real cold and everything, so we really haven't had a chance to do any videos. But I did promise we're going to come to this inside setting here. Go over a few things on these maps. Uh, and introduce you to a few things that we're trying to get accomplished this year. Uh, one of the first things here, we definitely want to get this on your 2020 radar. It's going to be the hashtag for this 2020 series, part of the Angry Black Man series. I am the Angry Black Man, and the hashtag for today is Get Real. We got to get real, America. We got a lot of things going on as far as this climate change. We got a lot of things going on as far as this lawless, man, this president, man. I'm, he got off with the acquittal, of course. And just because 53 Republicans said he was innocent, you know, no documents, no witnesses, no resemblance of a, a real trial. You know, he's actually been empowered, you know, to think everything's real good. Man, things ain't good, man. You, Mr. President, you're messing up this world. And the nerve of you wanting to even get four more years to continue down this path, man, it just doesn't make no sense, man. Now, I'm trying to be even killed here. I've prayed a lot about this. Actually, God put me on this. And, uh, man, just the ability to calm my heart, calm my head, calm my mind, man, it's a struggle. You know, but with God, anything's possible. Mr. Trump, you're impossible. So back to our hashtag for this year, get real. Renewable energy at last. That is your get real quote for 2020, America. Renewable energy at last. We got to go ahead and get on this solar. We got to get ahead and get on this wind. We got to start the renewable energy trend and get people educated. That's the big thing right now, man. We got to become educated on renewable energy. That's why it hasn't taken off. People are still content to ride down the highway, ride past it, and say, so, oh, there it is, man. Look at that wind, look at that solar, but not learn about it. We got to learn about it, get it into our schools, get it into our psyche, be able to do these things with homes, businesses and utility scale farms. It's something we have to do. So get real, renewable energy at last. This is gonna be my workstation during times of this second edition of the series. You know, we went through the first edition, went to a couple sites and everything. The second edition actually goes with showing you what we can do in this United States and what the uh, realities are for this company that I've been trying to start for over 16 years now. Uh, that's one big thing, man. I, apparently, I just don't want to start small because this needs to go in a bigger way. It can't be in one small city, in one little corner of the United States. This has got to be nationwide, and this has got to be something that we can get into people's souls and let them learn and educate themselves about this. So we need to get real, America. Get real. Renewable energy at last. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just one little side note here. One of the companies that's actually going to come out of this venture will be Ego which is the all-electric rental car company. Now, everybody's talking about how all the electric cars are going to come out and, oh, how we'll only sell electric cars and, you know, we're trying to create an electric car infrastructure. Actually, the electric car infrastructure already exists for the most part because you can go to any Walmart and there will be electric vehicle chargers there. One thing about this, not only are we going to partner with Walmart, and the electrical infrastructure that's already in place, 
we do want to have rest areas. Uh, electric car charging rest areas along our nation's highways. You know, just like I said, I'm trying to start small. I'm not trying to take all the nation's highways, which of course is the American way. Uh, but I just want to start with a few, you know, samples. You know, actually, possibly the I-75 corridor, of course, going from Michigan down to Florida, and the I-95 corridor, going from Maine all the way down the East Coast down to Florida. Just the I-75 and the I-95 corridor is within 500 miles of 80% of all the business in America. So if we can get a rental car company going on, you know, we're talking about buying electric cars and everything like that. Man, electric cars are basically unaffordable. But I'll tell you what, you can rent that electric car, be able to go and have an electrical car infrastructure that's already in place. So, um, you know, of course, we'll have 24-hour roadside assistance as well. So you don't have to have any worry about, you know, renting an electric car and going on your vacation. And then you can automatically turn the car in. You know, I still haven't got everything worked out just yet as when you get to the rest area charging station where there will have a car charged up that you can get into and take off or you'll just have to sit there for the couple hours and allow the car that you rented to charge. Of course, we'll have entertainment. Hopefully a restaurant will come into play and want to partner with us. And, you know, because it's going to be a good idea. A rest area where you can start, stop, charge your car, get something to eat, and have a little bit of entertainment. So, you know, this is something that's ongoing. Actually, with Elon Musk and Tesla, you know, being one of the biggest electric car manufacturers out now, hopefully you can get some money this way, Elon Musk. You know, we're going to ask Mike Bloomberg, too, because we see what you're going to do. I mean, your debate last night was pretty good, but apparently there's still some ways to go. You spent $400 million on ads already, as I'm talking about this nationwide uh, trading company for solar, solar trading, as well as the electric car rental. Man, there, there's all kind of uh, abilities for people to be able to fund just these two projects. Actually, the other side of the uh, business is the solar, solar, of where we're actually trying to uh, we're going to be teaching people nationwide about the benefits of solar training and being able to get this into our neighborhoods. So, you know, we're not going to be able to go over everything today. You know, it's going to be an intricate layout, and we can't do it today within 10 minutes. Uh, so, you know, we're, this is going to be an ongoing uh, presentation here. You're just in the initial one. I'm glad you're here. This is the Angry Black Man, part of the Angry Black Man series. So let's go just a little bit into the detail, a little bit. First, I wanted to say we're just going to start out in five areas. We're going to be in five areas across the United States. Uh, these are the first proposed areas. We want to go in the Chicago area here, which is Com Edison. We're going to go in the New York area here, which is Con Edison. We're going to be dealing in North Carolina and South Carolina. Actually, I have about 10 farms down here already, so this is going to be a nice area. And the two utilities here Duke and Dominion, these are very good solar utilities. So, in these first three areas here, these are utilities that have taken on solar and the abilities that it can do. So we want to work with these utilities, and that is one good thing, uh, one crucial thing about this plan. We got to form this relationship with the utility. Because utilities are signing up right now to buy power, and that's what it's going to have to come to for this to be a success. 
These utilities in these areas have got to want to buy the power. So that's something that's ongoing. Actually, I know a lot of the utility executives right now, and they're trying to wait for me to get this funding funding to be able to do some of these projects. So, you know, Mike Bloomberg, Jeff Bezos, you just announced a $10 billion earth fund. $10 billion earth fund as far as addressing climate change. We got to educate people on what wind and solar will do. So just like I said, here's three areas right here. Here would be the fourth, Louisiana, which is the energy utility. That's one thing about this area, because we want to get Mark Morial and the National Urban League involved. I know he knows people within energy. Energy is actually a black owned utility and just like we're saying, man, a lot of people are talking about the climate change and everything. There is no way that Entergy should not be interested in being able to do these things in the Louisiana area. There's actually a lot of solar in Louisiana right now. And we're just going to come here and expound on these. And of course, let me go over this way, sorry. California. California is the best state as far as solar. We're going to be working with Pacific Gas and Electric out here. We're going to be working with Southern California Edison, which is another good utility that actually comes on to mostly a Southern California, of course, Pacific Gas and Electric here. And then, of course, down here in the San Diego area, San Diego gas and electric, SDG and E. So these are the target utilities we're going to be working with, initially coming out of the gate, hopefully getting these uh, uh, PPAs, power purchase agreements, of where hopefully my goal is one megawatt in each area. One megawatt in each area, but like I'm saying, we're going to go into this a little bit more depth. But one megawatt is 330 homes capped at 10 kW apiece. Ten businesses. At 100 kW, 10 businesses at 100 kW, or four utility scale four utility utility scale farms at 250. KW a piece. So just like I said, this is just a quick overview. One megawatt will do 330 homes, 10 businesses, or four utility scale farms. 10 KW for the homes, 100 KW for the businesses, and 250 KW for the farms. As we've said previously, you know, we haven't went into the detail just here yet. We're going to work on these negotiations with the utilities, but we want to be part of a five-year pilot program. This will allow us to do one megawatt per year for five years in each of these five locations. That's really not hard to calculate. At the end of the five year term, we'll have over 1,500, 1500 homes in each location, 10 businesses in each location, as well as four utility scale farms in each location. So times that by five years, 
1,500 homes, 50 businesses, or 20 utility scale farms. So like I said, we're not able to go into detail just yet. I do want to be able to sit down and go through these individually. Um, I don't want to be able to put too much information down now because one thing I've learned by first starting this website is, man, there's really not, there, there's not a lot of attention span for Americans nowadays. The news cycle comes so fast. I'm talking about news from just last week is old news. Uh, this social media news cycle, I'm talking about there's so many stories every day, every week. E even news from three days ago is old news nowadays. So, you know, I hate to talk about our American people or our human race, but our attention spans, our attention spans are probably not more than five to ten minutes. So with me trying to do even a 15 to 20 minute video, I know I'm not gonna hold your attention that long. So we're gonna to try to cut down to where any video is not over 15 minutes long. So like I said, we're gonna go into a little bit more detail about this at a later time. I just wanted to show you these initial cities and the initial utilities that we're working with. Uh, even go through a little bit of our Ego, which is our all electric rental car company where you can rent your Tesla, you can rent your Nissan Leaf, you can rent your Toyota Prius, you can rent your uh, Ford Mustang. They got Mustangs coming out right now that are going to be electric cars. So you don't have to buy the sixty or $70,000 car. You can just go ahead and rent it. So and then, of course, it's like I'm saying, I'm playing into Soul Solar, which is going to be these different areas of the United States, dealing with these different utilities, and teaching people about solar on your home, on your business, or on a utility scale, a small utility scale farm. So I'm glad you're with us today. Man, there's a lot of news going on, man. I'm going to be able to expound on the Trump thing. And we're going to be back out in the field, man, because it is starting to get a little bit warmer. I'm going to show you these arrays firsthand. I'm going to show you how easy they are to wire up and show you, man, we're the only ones holding ourselves back from being able to address climate change on a personal level and be able to have the feeling that we're involved and give our kids this hope. Now, I've seen a, a, another news story about where kids just came out and just killed some people. Man, kids don't grow up like that. Kids don't grow up like that. They have lost hope and got no hope for the future. We're going to put that hope back into them and show them the adults can be responsible for our future. So get back with me, Angry Black Man series. This is the vision right here, the soul solar and the ego. Catch you later.